Hi guys, I'm back with another video. This is to do with more complex functions. So people really looking at grade nine, these are the very difficult function questions. I've got Leslie back in to help. Remember, she's my boyfriend Martin's mom. She's so nice. She was a math teacher and she's gonna show you how to do these more complex questions. So composite functions. Composite is another one of those technical words. But all it means really is that you are going to combine two functions together. So we're going to look at combining two completely separate functions, but making them into one function. So the easiest way to do this is to start off with two reasonably straightforward functions. So I'm going to define my function f to be the function, start with a value, multiply by 2, and then add 5. And then I'm going to define a completely separate function g to be the function whatever number you get, you're going to square it. So my function g is x squared. Now I want to find what happens if I combine these two functions together. In other words, I want to find the function which I'm going to call f g of x. Now unusually, you do them from right to left. This one says you are starting with x here and you are going to do the function g. So in both cases, x is your starting point. So if you look at this thing here, if I start with x, the first letter I get to is g, and then con continuing on, the next letter I get to is f. So this means put your x in, do your function g first, then do your function f. So rather than using the letters g and f, I'm now going to put my actual functions in. So I'm going to start with x. First of all, I'm going to do the function g. And my function g tells me to square. So my first step is going to be square. Then I'm going to do my function f. And my function f is multiply by 2 and add 5. So I have to multiply by 2 and add 5. And what will I get at the end? I will get, I'm starting with x, then I'm squaring it, then I'm multiplying by 2, and then I'm adding 5. So my composite function fg of x is 2x squared plus 5. The other way around, if you wanted the composite function gf of x, this time, if you think about it, you're starting with x, then you are doing f, then you are doing g. So you're going to start with x, you're going to do the function f, and then you are going to do the function g. So I'm going to do my function f, I start with the value x, I do my function f, which is multiply by 2 and add 5, multiply by 2, and add 5. And then I'm going to do my function g, and my function g is the function square. And out the other end, I will get, I'm going to start with x, I'm going to multiply by 2, I'm going to add 5, and then I'm going to square, but you have to square everything. So that goes in a bracket, and you are squaring everything. So my composite function, g, f of x is totally in a bracket, 2x plus 5, all squared. OK, so I'm going to do a sort of exam question with you. Um, the exam question is defined two function. The function f, they're defined as start with x, and out the other end comes 2x minus 1. The function g, start with x, and out the other end comes the answer 3 divided by x. So the first part wants you to find fg of 6, and the second part wants you to find fg of x. Now, the first part of the question, you can manage by putting the number 6 in and working through both the functions, as long as you remember that you're putting the 6 in, then you are doing the function g, and then you are doing the function f. So I'm putting 6 in, and I'm first of all going to put it into my function g. So I start with the number 6, 
When I put 6 and do my function g, I get out 3 over 6. Now that would actually cancel down to be half. So the half is the number I'm going to carry forward now. I've started with 6. I've done my function g. I'm now going to do my function f. And the number I'm now using is a half. So my function f is saying, take your half, multiply it by 2, and take away 1. So I have 2 times a half, which is 1, take away 1, which is 0. In other words, if I put in the number 6, do the function g, then the function f, out the other side comes the number 0. Now I'm going to do the same thing that again, but instead of using the number 6, in order to do part 2, I'm going to use the letter x. So I'm going to put in x. I'm going to do the function g first. And the function g tells me to divide into 3. Then I'm going to do the function f, which tells me to multiply by 2 and then take away 1. So out the other end, I'm going to start with x. I'm going to divide it into 3. I'm going to multiply all of that by 2. And then I'm going to take away 1. This time, there's a difficult bit of algebra here. We can simplify that. We can write that little bit more neatly. So you have 3 over x multiplied by 2, which is just ordinary multiplying fractions. The 2 you can think of as being 2 over 1. Multiply the tops. 3 times 2 is 6. Multiply the bottoms. x times 1 is x. So I can say my composite function f g of x is 6 over x, take away 1.